how to do SEO content writing. Okay, this is my desk. Uh, I work from home. I write content for other website owners and bloggers who need content. So I know a little bit about content writing and you can do it from home, from your dining table, uh, from your bed, you know. It is about what is SEO content writing and why is it so important. So as you know that more and more uh, businesses, especially after the COVID uh, situation are going online and they have I finally understood the importance of having they are taking their business online because uh, that is where your market is right now people are not able to approach businesses uh, sometimes uh, for, especially for the service business even restaurants and everything are going online right you have some or the other app and through that you get a message and then you go and purchase this and then it's delivered to your house okay so everything needs content content is in various forms it could be from say if you're in India and you have a Swiggy or a Zomato app and you get a message in your phone on WhatsApp or something and it says that uh, this is uh, available at so and so discount, you go grab that offer and that is content. You're consuming content in different forms. You could have seen a Facebook ad, you could have read a Facebook post and we are going to talk about SEO content. So probably mostly it is uh, to, for the blog but i have managed to figure out a way in which even if you write something in a facebook post you can have it rank on google okay so what is seo seo is something you're writing it in a format in so that uh, your uh, search engine primarily google because we are more into google now and it is going to find that content easily when someone is searching on that topic okay you might already be familiar with this right so you're looking for some particular thing and uh, some websites come up in google and why do they come up because they are uh, many factors involved one is the content is written in a very good way second it is answering the question or the intent of the person typing or looking for in google okay so we have knowingly or unknowingly touched a critical element what is that that whenever you write some content make sure it is uh, focused on the intent of the searcher okay so what that means is when i am looking for a particular term what is my intent when i am searching for that i do not care what is your solution right at this point i'm searching for something what is my intent if you can figure out the intent of the searcher you can have the perfect solution in the form of a article for that particular searcher and when these two match that is when they will come and click and go through to your article right so how do you find the intent go to google ask google type that query into google find out what kind of content is being shown what form of content is being shown are they getting videos are they getting images are they getting uh, the answer in a particular format which we will discuss in upcoming videos and once you can figure that out now your job is to provide the solution so someone has come and you, either it's your blog or they have given you money to write an article now in your mind you know that what is that person looking for so even though the owner of the blog has given you a, a topic you first figure out what is the person who is going to read this article what is he going to or she wanting to find okay if you do this extra one step no you become a high demand content writer believe me because i am able to bridge this gap that's why I get I can charge what I want and I get work right I'm very picky about what I can what I write about and what I what clients I take up so when you can figure out the intent of the searcher your article now is to focus on writing that article so what I am appalled at or what I find is that most people are telling how like you know where the keyword should be where uh, how many uh, words it should be no the, the first step is 
what is a person searching for and what should I provide in resp response to that okay now when you have this fair picture do the research the research is not just reading somebody else's articles uh, putting it into what I have seen is that they put it into a word document they go to some online tool or they will use an article writer tool put it and uh, convert it into some other language convert it back into some other language I mean I have seen such crazy things going on and then they send it to the client okay please do not do that Google is no fool you just go to copy leaks you will see that you know it shows plagiarism it shows even paraphrasing paraphrasing is when you have taken content from somewhere and you have uh, rewritten it mostly some or the other rephrasing tool and then you're giving it okay it's going to tank your uh, client's website or your own website and uh, that's not good that's not ethical so what you should actually be doing is that go do your research understand this topic understand how you can provide that solution once you know that now you write it yourself write it down the easiest way I found is that I put it up into points okay so I'll say that okay they're looking for this what are the five things or ten things I can talk about and I write those down then I find write small small answers to those subtopics now I have a article and that is what I will submit you know edit it fine tune it and submit it now where does this SEO part come into picture make sure that you know the topic which the uh, uh, person your uh, you know the blogger or whoever has given you or for your own blog make sure that you what you're writing is relevant to that topic there are many articles I have written where it has not exactly been mentioned you know uh, it's not been mentioned one that is because I am uh, answering the intent okay Google is so smart it will figure out that whether you are answering the intent or not so suppose the question is how do you uh, generate leads for a business without even mentioning how do you generate leads for the business if you write the exact answer the uh, satisfy that intent Google will put, pick your article okay so, but when you are submitting it to the client make sure that how do you generate leads for the business is in your article is in the header the subheaders should be relevant so make sure they are h2 tags h2 tags okay because uh, that gives an indication to uh, google that hey this is important and uh, this is bolded so this is relevant for the article and it will for, uh, go through that and also make sure that you are answering the question or providing the solution or satisfying the intent of the searcher the moment you do that your article is very relevant it has chances of ranking in the snippet the zero position it has a higher chances of ranking on the first page other factors come into play like the authority of the site interlinking maybe backlinking and stuff like that but you are one step ahead in that game right so this is what exactly is your SEO article now how long should this be well the length totally depends upon whether you are answering the intent if that intent is answered in thousand words so be it, be it. if it's answered in three thousand words so be it but having said that suppose on the first page of google articles are very long in depth the research based articles and you really want to target that keyword make sure your post is a mega post it could be a bible it could be like a 6000 word article intense research sometimes there is so there you will find so many golden nuggets where you don't there is nothing available on the first page not the 10th page no nowhere then uh, even a 500 word article will rank having said that i always you know keep it around 1300 1200 words because you know that much content is needed to answer that particular question so once again how long should it be as long as you uh, cover the intent check the competition on the first page of google and if you find that you know all our in-depth research articles tell your tell your client that you know this needs a lot more content to put the message across and make it a longer piece of content 
the types of articles there are multiple types list based articles you can have like a full research piece you can just have a q and a type article so that all again depends on the research you have done and what kind of content you are finding in the first initial research phase and once you are going to publish this article what are the key elements you should keep make sure so basically try to keep that keyword or the topic which you have written about in the title of the article that is the first line the title the title of that article so uh, and it should be have been mentioned in the first para either straight away like how to generate leads for your business or in a different way that uh, using these techniques you will be able to generate or le uh, learn how to get more leads for your business in a, you can rephrase it okay and then make sure that the subheadings are all h2 tags then focus on your meta description usually every website will have some of the other seo plugin it will have a meta description section right so write that uh, keyword in that meta description and answer the question in that or make it clickable or make it not uh, clickbaity but clickable okay give a solution give some numbers there or 10 ways in which you can generate leads for your business learn how to generate leads for your business and you will be surprised at the ninth one or something like that it is clickbaitish but it is clickable right and uh, that's about it and make sure the uh, keyword is in like if you are going to offer the publishing thing also for the author then make sure that it's in the permalink i try to squish out the uh, connector words and make it as short as possible but having the seo juice in place so that uh, the website starts ranking quickly and another thing you can tell the website owner that you know we can just add some more value to this content by adding some more images and videos and infographics and also uh, submit it to webmaster if you think it is necessary so basically i've just given you the entire process okay so go ahead go have some fun and let's have some quality articles let's change how articles are written